Standoff between the U.S. and China over trade issues is deepening. The rift is widening now to include other geopolitical issues. President Trump said in a pre-taped interview that aired on Fox News last night that he's okay, though, with the current state of play. A lot of people won't be happy with this answer, but I'm very happy now. We're taking in billions of dollars. Uh, China is obviously not doing well like us. You see what's happening. Their economy is not great. Our economy has been fantastic because they were catching us. They were going to be bigger than us. On Saturday, U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo spoke by phone with China's foreign minister, who, according to state media, warned Pompeo the U.S. shouldn't go too far in harming China's interests. The two also spoke about Iran, Taiwan, and the South China Sea, as the U.S. sailed a warship just miles away from a disputed area, and Beijing has called that a provocation. But there is potential de-escalation in one area, and that's Huawei. The Commerce Department is considering relaxing part of its ban to allow existing networks to avoid disruption. That means that rural providers in Wyoming and Oregon that have purchased Huawei products may be able to stay online. But, Becky, this comes, of course, as Google uh, increases uh, the scrutiny on Huawei by banning Huawei from operating on its Android platform. Kayla, when you said that Pompeo and Wang Yi uh, talked over the weekend and Wang Yi warned that they shouldn't do too much to hurt China's potential or its interests around the world, were they talking about Huawei particularly or just the trade fight in general? Uh, both. Uh, the pieces in state media that uh, had the most information about this call from the Chinese side uh, mentioned both Huawei and uh, the trade fight. Uh, and keep in mind that Chinese state media have taken an increasingly nationalistic tone as the country digs its heels in and says that it will not give away uh, concessions on principle to the U.S., uh, which it believes started this war. Of course, the U.S. administration would disagree with that.